What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the last episode of Dark Souls 2, Skull of the First Sin, Zoo Edition. Um, yeah. Sorry about that, my cat wandered into my room. Anyway, last episode, you guys, we climbed the Earthen Peak and made our way here to the Iron Keep. And we met up with an old friend of ours. For some reason, our old friends keep trying to murder us. I don't get it. Anyway, in this episode, we're gonna be uh, continuing on forward. Oops, not what I want. There we are. Ow. So yeah, if you guys hadn't seen it, uh, go check out the previous episode where... Wait, what? Oh, well, uh, that's right. Because <laughs> when I was coming across the bridge, it looked like the door was open. Knock, knock. I'll we'll probably take off the uh, poison moth. I don't think I'll need it here. Okay. Do I have that one? No, okay. So what I'm going to try and do in this episode, you guys, is I'm going to try and bait another summon of the forlorn. Let's see. Yep, I need that. Yeah. And let's go another five. I think we are still here. Alright. Very well. So basically, well, I, I mean, that's basically what I'm trying to do. It's not a guaranteed spawn, like the one in the Huntsman's Copes, so it might take me a few tries to get it, which is why, uh, like I'm showing you guys what I'm going to be doing, like the route, uh, route I'm going to be taking. I will be finding some of these um, lone knights. I don't think that should have hit him. And this is basically what I'm going to be doing. Like, just come out here, put my shield up, and see if he gets... he invades. Okay. Well, that's what I'm basically gonna be doing for this episode. Um, I am going to try and fight the boss, the smoke demon. So we'll see how well that turns out. But I'm actually gonna stop the recording here and go get the full on to spawn and when I do I'll restart the episode. So see you guys in a little bit. Alright you guys, I'm back and if you look down there you can see our good pal the forlorn coming to visit. Um yeah, I'm I'm kind of glad I stopped the recording 
because it's been almost an hour since I started. So yeah, like those uh, alone nights that I was um, fighting earlier, yeah, I despawned them. That's how many times I did that one route. Just trying to get that full loan to spawn, so that was uh, annoying. But he's dead now, so... I can actually make a uh, progress. Oh, I only have five light gems left. I got the Cantana. Yay, that I'm not gonna use, but yay. And down he goes. I probably shouldn't do that. A lot because I think they. Well, actually, no. I was gonna say I think they have good drops, but I can't want to earn by any of them. And uh, I think the only drop they have that I particularly care about is the the great bows. But then I remembered I don't have enough dexterity to use it, so. It's kind of pointless to me. Take out this guy. Oh, good. I have plenty of um, poison hills. I 
there he goes. Yeah, what well, turning that one switch there was basically shut this off. Uh, like that whole one basically have fire spewing everywhere through the holes in the ground, I guess. So from that thing, that giant pot. So now I can uh, use that as a mini shortcut. Uh, what you doing up there? Ah, oh, that's not getting smart. Ah, he juked me out. <laughs> Didn't help him though. Alright. Now that I got that one item, I can drop this down and complete the bridge. Oh, that guy just zipped around the corner. And dead. Yep, there we go. Excellent. Okay, so I kind of only have two Estus. A couple of life gems. I'm not going to try and jump over there. Because really all that's over there is there's a Y-Hander and a Dragon Bone, which I don't need. Mm, yeah, let's summon Lucatio for this boss fight. Why not? You ready, Lucatio? Alright, she's actually fairly good for this, uh, for this boss fight. It's a smoker demon. He actually can keep his attention. There we are. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, he is um, pretty susceptible to being poisoned. That's what that 15 damage is about. Not a lot of damage, but it's enough.
I saw it. Good job, Luca Teal. I didn't do much and I apologize for that. Alright. So that was our fourth encounter with the um the full on. Which means now we can get his armor, which um don't get me wrong, I I love his armor. I'm I'm just annoyed that the chest armor is the fourth one you get. Especially when you consider it goes like hood, gauntlets, leggings, and then chest armor. Oh wait, I forgot about this. We get to fight uh, another pursuer. Only he's not gonna give us Twinkling Titanite, which yeah, you know, that kind of sucks a little bit. Part is I'm not really I'm doing a lot of <laughs> commentary today. I'm kind of focused. I will say this. Um, I recently attempted a no death one of this game, which uh, failed because of the um, toxic rats. And the doors are fills. Yeah, doing that boss fight. So, yeah. And I, I will say this fighting against the pursuer with like um, a mace is actually makes this fight a lot easier. We get a Wing of Blades plus one. So, as you can see, it does increase our attack like the other one does. So, yay! Uh, we're gonna go back to Majula and level up a little bit. I apologize, I didn't do a whole lot this episode. But that one, like getting that full loan to spawn. Like, how long that took was just exhausting. Which I'm glad you guys won't have to uh, sit for that. Alright. How many low ups can I get? 13. Wait. Two more into here. There we are. I don't have a lot of health, do I? But that's okay. Anyway guys, um, I'm gonna leave it here. Next episode we're gonna continue on our way through the Iron Keep. Hopefully actually get to the boss. And, uh, you know, actually make some decent progress. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I realize it wasn't a very exciting episode, but if you enjoyed it nonetheless, I would really appreciate it if you'd let, leave a like on this video, uh, comment down below on what's your favorite armor set in the game. The Forlorn is a close second for me. Um, I'm not going to say what my favorite is because we haven't gotten to it yet. But anyway, you guys, um... Make sure to check out my brother's Twitch channel. The link will be in the description. Uh, go check out some of my other Let's Plays. Um, I recently did a video a couple weeks ago on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch. So, you know, go leave that some attention if you would, uh, wouldn't mind. 
And um, once you've done all that, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe and join my alliance. Because we are close to 50 subscribers, really close. I want to try and get to 50 before Christmas. So make sure to share this video around, share other videos on my channel around. And we just might uh, reach that hallmark before Christmas. And I'll see you guys next time.